This tutorial is about flaps, so here we are, there's two kinds. This kind, as you pull the tab, it pulls in the direction of the pull. It's a very, very easy structure. And this type is more interesting, as you pull the tab, it moves in the opposite direction to the pull. I'll just start by making a couple. The first one, here it is, the pull strip. The basic pull strip is explained in tutorial 25. And so all pull strips must be double thickness. They also need measuring. So I've done all the measuring and prepared these pieces beforehand just to make it quicker. So this is the pull strip. It's been scored down the middle, folded, and then always glue it. When it's got a fold in it and it's glued, it just makes the whole thing stronger. So you can push it, pull it, no buckling. And this one, the pull strip is double thickness, and then at the end, one thickness, you just have this little tab, which is what's going to stick onto the flap and lift it up. So this is the flap I've prepared. The flap has a tab on the bottom that, that will stick to the page in the place I've measured it to be. Put the glue on the tab and glue it to the page. The pull strip is going to stick on here and go through these two slits in the page. The slits need to be cut so they go back a bit. This end they only need to go back a couple of mils so the card just lifts up a very little bit. But this bit it needs to be cut back about a centimetre so it can lift up more. So you just feed it through, feed it through this side as well. And then you can stick the tab on top, but I think it's just neater if it goes underneath so it's, it's hidden from view. I'll put some glue on that one. And stick it down. Let it go off. And yeah, there you go. So you get lifting the flap. There is another way of doing this where the strip goes through the flap and there's a good example in this uh, Robert Crowther's book, The Most Amazing Hide and Seek Counting Book. And if we open it up, this is the one we're looking at. As you pull it, it lifts up the flap and it's actually got another flap underneath. So you can see this has been pushed through. There's a slot in the flap here. Again, the slot will be about two millimetres wide. And to construct this, there are creases here and here. So these two bits have been folded up and push through the slot in the main flap and then unfold it again. And then this end is pushed through the page. So that's just another variation on this type. The other kind which is more interesting really is this type, which lifts up away from the direction of the pool. And it's based on a, I guess the slot in the page is a fulcrum. I've got a bigger one here so you can see it much more clearly. The strip has these two little tabs on each side and they fold up while you push the whole thing through this slot and you unfold them and they keep the whole thing in position. Here's the one I prepared. This is the pull strip double thickness so I'll just glue that. So that's a double thickness pull strip. And now here, these are the two little tabs which will fold down as you construct the whole piece. This is a, another fold here, which is what makes the whole thing work. The important thing is to, between this point, between the little tabs and the main flap, this point and this point where the crease is, that's about seven mil, that's fairly crucial. You have the main flap, and then you have these two little tabs which fold up and go through the slot in the page and then unfold again and the rest of the strip goes through this slit here. You fold them down. This is a slot, not a slit. So this is two or three millimetres wide, whereas this is a slit. It's just a straight cut in the page. So you can fold those down. You push the whole thing through the page and then you unfold them on the other side. That's now holding it in position. This comes through here. 
and now that gives you the moving action. The first book I'd like to show you is Jungle Days by Helen Barmer. And this is the type of flap that moves away from the direction of the pull and it's got an image attached to it. So as you pull it, the flap lifts up and the crocodile jumps. If you look at it end on, you can see there's the flap underneath it that's moving away from the direction of the pull strip. And then it's got the image attached to it. And the other type we've looked at, here it is. This is the type that the flap is pulled up in the direction of the pull strip. So as you pull it, it comes down. That's the other kind. And the other book I'd like to show you, this is quite an interesting variation. This is Little Red Riding Hood by Bruce Foster. And in this case, this is a flap and these are the tabs. But instead of you pulling the tabs to make the flap move, you lift the flap and it makes the tabs move. You pull the flap down and these move up. And then in this case, the flap has got two V-folds underneath it. The next one I'd like to show you is Colour Surprise. This is some um, French. Colour Surprise by David Pelham. And this one, here it is. This is the type of flap where the flap moves away from the direction of the pull. And in this case, there's a couple of V-folds underneath it. The, the main head of the critter is a parallel fold and then you've got two v-folds each side quite a nice one there now the next one i'd like to show you is robots by jan piankowski these are two flaps on one pull so as you pull it this near one is the type that lifts up in the direction of the pull and this one goes in the opposite direction so as you pull it they both lift and this one has a v-fold underneath it this one has a parallel fold underneath it. Quite a nice example there. I'd like to show you a few more of these ones I've got here. This is just a really simple example of how you can get the two flaps working together. You look at the back of it, it's just the, the strip is double. You can see it all pretty clearly there. This is where you've got the flap moving away from the direction of the pull, but in this case it's got a parallelogram built on the back of it and it's got a pop-up on the front of that. So here you can see the parallelogram, here you can see the action underneath the page, you can lift it up like this has got these two tabs there that come up against this slit and stop it moving. That makes it stop when it's in the vertical position. This is delayed double action, so it's a bit more complicated. As you pull the strip, first one flap lifts, and then the other one. And so the way this works, this flap is actually a pocket. It's not just one piece of card, it's actually hollow inside. And so when you look at it this way round, you can see the end of the pull strip actually goes up inside the pocket. So as you pull it, it, it comes up, it lifts it up and then slides back. The second flap is moved by this piece and these come through this window in the page. So as you pull it, it doesn't engage initially. It has to go that far. Then it engages and can lift the second flap. And so the key thing here is the distance between, if you look, both the flaps are working through a slot in the page. So here you see the two slots in the page, the distance between them is the same as the distance between this crease and this point in the window in the slide where it engages. So that's the crucial thing with this one. And I can show you a really nice example of that in action. This is a Robot by Jan Pienkowski. It's this snake head here. As you pull the tab, first the tongue comes out and then you carry on pulling and then the snake head lifts up and the eyes are built onto that flap. You might be useful to look at it sort of sideways on like that. You can see that's how it is when it's down. First the tongue goes and then the head goes and the eyes flip over. And there's one more I'd like to show you. This is uh, Alice in Wonderland. And the paper engineering is by Roger Diaz. This is the one I want to look at. As you lift the page, 
the pull strip is actually turning over the flap. This is the automatic pull strip in action working with the flap. I think the automatic pull strip is uh, tutorial 16. And that's it for uh, this tutorial on flaps. The, there's more about them in these two books of mine. This is the most recent one, Pop-Up Design and Paper Mechanics. There's a bit more about flaps in there. And there's a lot more about pull strips in this book, Pop-Up, A Manual of Paper Mechanisms. This is the first book I did and there's a lot about pull tabs in it.